Hey, what's up everyone? So a few months back when we had our April update of this year, we got revamped apartments slash houses. So apartments have been in the game before, but they got revamped along with new houses that are actually claimable. But to be honest, like the first week of the update after it released, a lot of people were excited, but eventually they just customized their own home and then got sick of them right away. And pretty much no one uses the houses anymore. Like, like I would say in an average public server, I see between no people to like one. They're basically useless right now. So here, is why. Now, obviously, when you buy a house, it's a per server purchase. So that means if you um, buy a house and like leave the game and rejoin, uh, you're screwed. You have to buy it all over again. But, but let's start off with the first reason why no one uses these houses, even though they got a revamp. So that is because your furniture progress does not save whatsoever. So I'm just going to make a quick bedroom right here, just for an example. There, there's my bedroom. Now I'm going to leave the game. I'll rejoin and then go back to the house I had before, rebuy it and go back in. What do you know? nothing's here. Now, I guess I could sort of understand why this feature never came to the game where the houses save your furniture progress, because, I mean, each house slash apartment is a different shape, and I do expect something like this to be pretty tedious for a Simo and Bad CC to accomplish. But probably the main issue of these houses, and this is probably the main reason why no one uses these houses anyways, is the money problem with, with these safes, and frankly, the money you pay to rent these houses, so. So I just picked the museum and tomb for these two safes, now let's arm them, and all oh, right, you need at least two people to arm these vaults. Uh, that's probably another reason why people never use these safes. But anyways, we get 15 minutes to um, complete the robberies on the safe so we could rob them real quick. Let's just go ahead and rob the tomb. Let's just turn the cash in. And then you go back to your house and see how, how much you've earned. So as you can see, I earned almost a thousand from the museum and 1400 from the tomb. So I'll be honest, they did actually buff your earnings from these safe. Um, when, we, when we first got the update, I think you only earned like almost like 400 or so from the museum. So, so now you basically earn like twice as more as you did. Even then, I, I feel like these safes just downright underpay you, especially for how much work you do. I mean, even if you have a whole crew with you and, and you're able to like rob that same robbery like more than one time, like two or three times, most of the time you basically make less than the price you paid to like rent these houses. <laughs> Not to mention besides the safe feature, which doesn't really reward you anything at all, there's barely any furniture in the game. And also the placement and customization of a lot of these just suck. Most of the time I just end up like picking up the safe. So yeah, as you can see, the placement just sucks on these. Especially with the wall items, like when I just want to place a wall item, they always end up crooked and it's just really hard to turn these without them still being crooked so yeah however though good news Asimo did respond to this like a few days back it seems like Asimo and Bad CC are kind of aware that no one has been using these houses lately and they need to get a bit of a revamp so Asimo tweeted that he's still interested in doing a v2 of our recent apartment update new items new furniture etc I think we can make them even better than what they are now definitely some potential so what he means by this is he does have an idea of of how to make these apartments useful again besides just like adding new furniture and items that will just be cosmetic changes. But here's how Bidemo could improve these houses and make them useful again, in my opinion. So, first thing to say is, Asimo has said before that he does not want Jailbreak to turn into a roleplay game, but to be honest, this game is like an open map game now, so. Just saying, developers, if you want people to use the houses again, then better do something good with these houses. I bet they have something planned out, um, according to the tweet, but. It would actually be pretty cool if Jailbreak actually teamed up with Coeptis to, um, do like a Jailbreak Bloxburg crossover, kind of like they did with Piggy. Maybe involving these houses I, d I doubt it's gonna happen anyways here's how i think they should fix the houses so let's talk about the price first so honestly this is the most expensive house right here this house costs 25 000 thousand whopping dollars to rent um and yeah this is this is still per server so even if you leave the server or come back in you still have to pay 25 dollars again now honestly i think that is way too much for a house i mean here's the thing you hardly get any privacy in the house um at this point because i mean cops can raid your house and there's not even a good amount of time like a cool down time for them the furniture basically serves no purpose in the game um besides just like role play i guess so i guess the only feature in these houses are the safes which do not reward you anything and besides the whole point of the safes is for you to earn extra money not lose money so if you're spending $25,000 on a house or even $10,000 on a on a house you're basically losing money if you think about it so so especially if you have to pay per server to rent a house I would say the maximum amount of money you should even think about spending on a house is 10 grand so just my opinion not saying this is gonna come of course it's just fun to talk about but I'd say make most of the smaller houses like this one 
one in pretty much most of the houses over here in this neighborhood. Two grand, um, I would say that's fair. Make the big one right here like 10 grand. Maybe make some of the apartments over there like five grand. Or you guys let me know what price you think the houses should be, but. The next thing that should be done with these houses is, of course, saving your furniture progress in each house. So yeah, as I said, this is probably going to be really hard work for Asimo and Bad CC. I mean, they worked incredibly hard for these houses, so they're probably going to be struggling. They might have already um, considered adding this feature, but I don't think they got to it yet. I'd say that houses should save how you had your furniture in, like, each house. Um, I don't know if it's gonna be hard for them to accomplish, but hopefully they're working on it. All we can do is hope. And speaking of furniture, let's talk about that next. So, in my opinion, I think Asimo and Bad CC should just leave all the furniture to the community to make from now on, because if you take a look on Reddit, just take a look at all the furniture concepts the community has made. To be honest, um, <laughs> the community makes much better furniture than Asimo usually makes, to be honest, some of them. And if you go over here to the inventory or the store, you could see that we barely have any furniture options in the game, so... So this goes for Asimo and the community, but I recommend more bathroom items, more kitchen items, more bedroom items, and more decorations, such as, like, plants, more pictures, more lights. And also, they really gotta fix up the placement of these, seriously, I mean... I recommend them adding the ability to actually place furniture on rugs, and maybe add, like, a no-collide, um feature to these furniture. And also, they definitely have to fix this. Not to mention also, yep, they gotta fix this too. Just make the default position for these like straight up. And also, more customization options is something I really wanna see on these new furniture too. Like, like seriously, even the old apartments and the old furniture had more customization than these current furniture. Like, you used to be able to actually like change the colors of the furniture. Like, not much options, but if it's possible, I would bring back the feature where you could change the color of the furniture. I would also have some customization options for like the floor or the walls, like maybe you could just change the color of the walls. And something I want Bidimo to add is the tinted windows feature for the houses. Seriously, I mean, I mean, considering police can already raid houses at all, I feel like they need to have the option um, where you could actually tint your windows just for more privacy so campers don't just like snoop around and look where your safes are. And speaking of that, let's talk about safes now. So this is the big issue. First of all, I think a reasonable percentage for how much bonus cash you get from each robbery would be like a one third amount of cash you make from the robbery. Like for example, you get like 8,400 from like the museum and tomb so if you divide that by two you would get like 2800 and if you get like 6000 from the jewelry store you would get like 2000 of bonus cash from your, from your safe and and another feature they should add to these safes for sure just to make it a little more fair is an option to actually pick how much time you want you want to have on your safe timer like maybe you could have arrows just like down there when you pick the robbery maybe you could have arrows up here on the timer just to like pick how long you want the um safes to last for before you like collect your dough and here's some more little fun ideas i thought of to make the houses more useful than they currently are so why not add like more features to the current furniture that are currently in the game like for example with this computer over here maybe it shows like a 2D hologram of, of like the whole jailbreak map where all the players are or maybe with these vending machines Which you already pay like 10 grand for maybe it has like a special feature where you hold E or something And you could get like a donut or some kind of snack to refill your health whenever you're out there robbing stuff And maybe even add like a weapon reloading station or something So whenever you die you just spawn back at your house and you could equip your weapons And I mean that will at least make the houses more useful Anyways now I think we should talk about the police involvement with these houses And yeah we got some stuff to fix. So first of all, with the current rating feature, like, as y'all know, um, if a criminal buys a house, police can still, like, w do one of those FBI open up raids with these houses. Like, they hold E, and then they could break into the criminals' houses. If the criminals are in there, they could arrest them. Otherwise, they could, like, steal the cash from those safes. I'll be completely honest, um, I think the rating feature for cops is a little bit too OP, so... What they really need to do is probably, like, extend the cooldown time for each raid. Like, for example, if one cop, um, raids a house, um, I would say as soon as they get out, there there should be, like, a 5 to 10 minute cooldown timer before another cop could raid or any cop could raid. But, on the police team, they don't really have any involvement with, like, the safes on their own team. So, I think that they, these safes need to give police, like, bonus cash from just, like, doing what they do, obviously, which is arresting. And I think their bonus cash should be maybe like um one half the amount of cash they get when they arrest a criminal or basically any way they make money whether it's like um saving crates from the ship or passenger train or robbing the bank truck or not really robbing but driving the bank truck and collecting money from there but 
Anyways, feel free to leave down in the comments what you guys want to see in these houses if they do end up having like a um, part two to like the um, apartments update. But but I don't know if we're going to get the update this coming update for July. I mean, um, the July update is coming up real soon here and they only tweeted this like a few days back. Simo did kind of say that he's still thinking about it. So I don't know if we're going to get it anytime soon. Probably in like a month or so. Maybe the August update at the earliest. But anyways, take care everyone.